Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Cancer. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Cancer, we have the Nine of Wands, the Death card, the Ace of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So, just looking at these cards, Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck looks like either you or somebody else is still holding on. Yep, holding on. Even when love is gone. Yep, and that's no lie. Like, yep, anyway. Um, it seems as if there's somebody still watching you you know, um, still in the shadows in terms of maybe still looking at you on social media. Um, yeah, looking at you through via social media, asking about you, inquiring about you, maybe even your, your status now, are you coupled? Are you married? What are you doing? This could be you cancer in terms of some feminine energy. Um, so it looks like uh, a relationship is over or it has yeah it has died it's, it's it's been over and it looks like somebody wants to kind of uh restart it uh re-energize this reignite the flame um throw their hat in the ring they're up for the challenge okay uh they want to do something with you whether it's go on a trip a journey and we do have journey card coming out it's like they want to do something with you you know and this could be how you feel cancer also because they're still holding on to you like a possession in the four of pentacles they still have some deep-seated issues in terms of what they need to iron out within themselves they're still holding on you to you because they feel like it is opportunity uh to have this relationship back this also this person also could have had you outside of a relationship like they already had a relationship they were already married they had you and they had you, you know, maybe you lived on the outskirts of town or you lived far away from them or a distance from them or you were, were on the outside of their heart space. You know, they weren't allowing you to um, penetrate their heart. Uh, they just kind of looked at the relationship as very possessive, like they own you. Um, I don't know. It's like a really funny energy of domination. Like they wanted to dominate you, exert their force, their will on you, whatever it is they wanted for the relationship. They wanted you to want that too. If you wanted to get married, but they didn't, it was like, well, they wanted you to, wanted to talk you into not getting married and tell you all the reasons why that you guys shouldn't get married and marriage is this. And it's like, they were very forceful. Um, maybe even got to a point of being clingy. You know, uh, it was a, it could have been a very stuck and toxic relationship, or this could be what your person is in now. They're in some stuck, toxic situation now, uh, because they didn't choose you. They didn't allow you to, you know, penetrate their heart. They didn't allow their feelings to actually grow for you. They wanted to kind of put a cap on it, encapsulate this relationship with the four of pentacles. Um, and now they feel like they, they want, they have right to you, claim to you. Uh, they, they want to, um, they want to reclaim you is what I just heard. Uh, again, something about feeling like they have, um, I don't know, like your possession, you know, being very dominant. They've got some issues that they need to iron out within themselves. Let's see. What is this about for my cancers? It could be a Sagittarius, Scorpio. It could be anybody. Uh, Capricorn, it could be anyone, literally. Um, this person is trying to read up on you, trying to figure out what's going on with you, maybe gain knowledge by way of social media, friends, tarot card readings, any and everything. This could be you, it could be the other person. Um, they're looking in on you, not knowing if they should fight for the relationship because it's been a very rocky one. They know that if they do have to, if they do come back, it's going to have to be something different. They're going to have to transform or transition into. Okay, so some of you, you know, this is going to take a turn. Talks too much, start that business. So some of you talk too much about actually starting your business. Okay, 
you talk about doing it you don't do it and then at the bottom of this deck you have great fortune so whatever it is you have in your mind about in terms of business it could actually turn out very well for you so the cards are saying start that business you're talking way too much about doing it not enough action um you're holding on to these plans and not getting not getting going the universe has presented opportunity but you still hold on and do nothing you still save your money and say you don't have enough and you don't know how to do this and you make so many different you know excuses for or this is what your person does uh they talk so much about doing this and doing that and they do so very little this person also could talk about starting a relationship with you a real one with you and they do so little they don't they do not follow through um this person could want to take a trip with you, take a drive with you. They want you to see something. They want you to, they want to take a journey with you. They could be arriving to you, arriving or maybe going somewhere and maybe you'll be dropping them off or you'll be seeing them off. The nine of wands here. It's like somebody is, you know, um, at the precipice of actually having something nice or something great. They're right at the, right at the edge and, I don't know. They feel like giving up. You feel like giving up. We got the death card here. Somebody really needs to transition how they look at um, maybe feminine energy. There could be sexist or like misogyny is what I'm hearing. Um, somebody doesn't want to let you go or you don't want to let someone else go because you feel like it's the best sex ever and i and i yeah somebody's overloading on on tarot and i said that too it's more so like um somebody is really just uh they're not talking you and this person are not talking so they're trying to get their information by other means whatever means um somebody did too much talking in the relationship and not enough action they kept the relationship stagnant and stuck and they expected you to stay there you left with a journey card now this person wants to journey to you come to you they're not sure if they can they're not sure if you're still open um they w some of them feel like they waited too long this is what i have for you cancer if it resonates go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy l a coffee link if you can't do any of that just let me know down in the comment section how this reading resonated for you thank you cancer many blessings to you take care